what we got from our, our internet community and uh, people who are online inshaAllah, mashaAllah lots of himma, lots, lots of himma, people sharing and uh, sort of shutting down the internet with posts and, <laughs> and uh, videos and shorts and short videos and everything. So alhamdulillah, great, great, great service alhamdulillah. And many experiencing, many, many openings, many, many realities. Because remember now the, the, the process is not to be in the presence but to serve. And as soon as you serve and email, keep the communication, it's reaching you and that's all that's necessary. They don't have a farm in which everybody has to show up and, and uh, go pick the oranges and the apples. This farm now is online, just come online, be of service, take the articles, go to the charity, take the actual charity products and share them all over the internet. Anyone who doesn't like the posts from our teachings say, okay no problem I'm going to share the charity onto your sites. And then your interaction with fellow Naqshbandis, Sufis or whatever will introduce to you the reality I taught and we taught about the people of tariqahs they come and their entryway is like the dogs, right? We said the entry to this reality you can be like the dog of a Sab al kaf But unfortunately many of them stay in dog format, means they're very doggish characters like dogs, attack dogs. And our life was to take knowledges and realities and become better than a dog. Trained dog that doesn't bite, doesn't bark and then now reach towards the realities of where Sayyidina Musa wanted. That I want to follow this adab, I want to be trained by the people of knowledges and I want to achieve these immense, immense realities, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi <coughs> Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. From the spiritual science presented in blockchain technology, does the hash system which ensures integrity of data within a block reflect the sign of the reality of the Ru of Sayyidina Muhammad and are blocks themselves a sign of Fulukul Mashoon presented in Surah Yaseen? <laughs> you got me because that sounds very scientific for me. <laughs> so, whatever it is in, in the blockchain that in the last days we said before now, you use cash. All As Salaamu Alaykum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The system's not going to be like that because cash you spend here, spend there, spend there, nobody knows where you spent. That's a hidden world. What Allah wants in the last days? That if you give him ten dollars. Everyone in the world knows about it and he give you nine dollars, everyone in the world knows about it and then you give him eight dollars, everyone in the world knows about it. Why? Because Allah has continuously taught throughout Qur'an that, I know everything. If in a seed moves it's in a clear book. So the ledger and kitab al-mubeen is now going to be introduced into this earth. You know shaitan will run the ledger for his people. But it's an ajr and uh, it's a isharat or guidance for believers that the ledger is going to document everything. As Allah's grand ledger already documents everything so it brings you to yaqeen and certainty. Who can deny at that time that Allah knows everything? If you think your government knows everything imagine then your Lord knows every single thing, what you put and hide in your account, what you spend in your account, everything Allah knows. So this brings people to certainty. 
should be at least. Assalamualaikum, Sayyidi. Alaikum salam. Thank you for this immense teaching. <clears throat> the software may get a virus and stop the upgrade. How to clean the virus to enable more updates? Shaitan is, shaitan is the virus. And that's why Allah has a firewall, what we call Jahannam. So do you think that you're going to take yourself and walk into paradise and say, Hey, I'm here with all my viruses attached to me? That's what the computer was to teach us, that everybody hides behind a firewall because they don't want their computer to be crashed or, or to be destroyed or to viruses. All this would just say, if you don't want your computer to be crashed, imagine I don't want my paradises to be crashed. So it means you're going to have a firewall in your grave where it's going to clean, clean, clean. Now it can go up, otherwise my goodness paradise would be hell. Everybody would be just their shaitans running around like a, a unbelievable. Now think that paradise or that firewall is in everything we do. That's why when we teach outside zahiri people, it's okay you, you made wudu, yes, okay. Now you're going and praying and thinking your du'a is going to be accepted, say, of course. I say, why? But shaitan is inside of you. The firewall of the heavens is not allowing it to go up. Because you have a fire inside of you and it's, it's commingling with every energy you send. So if your prayer is like a contract coming out, you know like when you send ten dollars, that contract and that digital payment has to be non-corruptible. Otherwise every time I send him ten dollars I would crash his wallet and maybe hack it with a code and then pull back everything else out of his wallet. So all of these encryptions these tech people have understood. Anything I send must go through a wall of security and no way for a hook to bring it back. Unless it's from the government putting a mandatory hook in there to pull everything back. So those precautions are teaching us about the heavens. So do you think you make du'a and Allah accepts what you're requesting with shaitan attached to it? And his energy going up because he's not letting you to, okay go praise your Lord without my energy. But anything the person says and does shaitan is attached to it. So dhikrullahi tatma'ina qulub, they understood then I have to clean the shaitan inside too. And that only by zikr and salawat so that my inside shaitan is it's too fiery for him to stay in there. Too much lights are in there for shaitan to come. When the shaitan inside is being burnt and sent out, then they begin to make du'a and Allah is accepting their du'as, right? So it's all the tech is showing us, the, sh the tech actually makes it much more certain because people will argue with you, no, no, no Allah So Allah's system is, is now corruptible? When their digital technologies they're saying is not corruptible. So no Allah is infinitely not corruptible. There's not an energy that goes negative up anywhere and this is the system of awliya, they're supposed to clean. And that's why you, you accompany a shaykh, why? Because his jama'ah when they make a du'a has to pass through his heart. His heart has to clean it and then his shaykh is responsible to clean him. And then his shaykh is responsible to clean him. So there's a whole chain of command. So by the time it gets up to the big huge shaykh it's a, a mere conveyance to the presence of Prophet and that becomes the perfection in which Prophet says, my nation will present their amal to me. When I'm happy I say, alhamdulillah. It doesn't say anything but alhamdulillah to the tariqah. Why? Because they're not going to give Prophet bad, they're going to die cleaning it. So this is, this is the system of tariqah, this is the barakah of people joining tariqahs. Is because they have to realize, how my, my, my files are all corrupt. As soon as I'm with them, they're going to clean the file and send it up. Wherever I am at home, because I've been taught at home, make my madad, make my connection and then do my ibadah. So my ibadah was done in, in my connection. I made my madad before I prayed, that's most important. I made my madad before I did anything. Because it's in the madad of my shaykhs to be with me. My salah is not going anywhere. 
But as soon as I make the madad of my shaykhs, then they come to be present like a rocket ship that salah is moving. That's the whole system. So no definitely, all the system is not corruptible. Even in the heavens Allah has shihab that even they try to steal information Allah has angels of fire that come and, tra- and chase after them and, and destroy them. So it means there's, there's so much systems of Allah's protections that it's, it's just un- unimaginable. The dunya is now showing itself of this uncorruptibleness and that's the sign of the last days and the immense sign of last days. <coughs> As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, someone very dear to me has uh, committed suicide. I'm having a very difficult time bearing this pain. Can you please give me any advice or du'as to recite? InshaAllah, you have any du'a from the app and Nariya, the Salawat al Nariya, the one for calamities and difficulties, and asking Prophet Wasallam's intercession and, and intervention in our hearts, in your heart, and in all the hearts of people affected by that event, and that Allah to dress with mercy. In this day and age the, these people suffer from mental illness and, and different difficulties. InshaAllah they find a, a clause in his spiritual contract to, to grant them access to Prophet because of abuse, because of mental difficulties, sicknesses that were imposed or inflict, inflicted upon individuals. So Allah inshaAllah's rahmah and mercy be upon all souls inshaAllah. But keep the love of Prophet and connect the heart with Sayyidina Muhammad If there's anyone who can resolve the case and if there's only somebody who can resolve the case is only Sayyidina Muhammad to present that to Allah InshaAllah. <coughs> As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah mm, Sayyidi, I've been struggling with waswas pertaining to my pronunciation in prayer to the point where it's taken me two hours to pray Zohar. I also heard that heeding to your doubts invalidates your prayer and now I've been overthinking the entire prayer. I've had to stop praying my extra prayers because of this. It takes me such a long time to pray already. This situation has caused me a lot of distress. Is there a way to negate these thoughts so I can pray without so much difficulty? Ya yeah, inshaAllah, make your wudu, keep your wudu, make your salawats, make your muraqabah because this shaitan is coming too close. Do not listen to Wahhabi people on the internet. Do not watch their videos, do not watch their short videos, just see them run. Just you see their, their look and shake and the shaitan run. If you listen to their teaching, listen to their belief system, you're in trouble. It's going to like a waswas grab your ear and enter deep into your heart and that's all the shaitan wants. So these guys they'll come and say, okay your qirat is not correct, Allah won't accept the prayer. As if it's so petty that there's like an English translation service or Arabic translation service that the, if it doesn't qualify, you're wrong. Hayyal as salah, hayyal as falah, oh but you, call, you called the farmers, you called the farmers, you didn't call it right. So no doubt, look at the room, of course they're farmers, who cares? <laughs> they would do that, they would come to the masjid, just said, you record, you said it wrong. You said farmers, farmers, because Arabs love to argue about their Arabic. I said, do you think it really matters for Allah Maybe He wanted everybody in the room to be farmers, let's just pray, forget about these things. But they can't, they can't, they can't. And Sayyidina Bilal al-Habashi salam, said, had the, uh, a slur, Asad, Asad, huh? And the companions complained, so why is he calling the azan and, uh, if he's having this slur? So, I wouldn't say something like that, okay, tell him don't recite the azan tomorrow for Fajr. And they asked him, okay, we'll have somebody else recite. The, the sun didn't start to come up, they couldn't, the Fajr wasn't starting. 
And they came to Prophet ﷺ and said, why is the Fajr not s- starting? I said, because you, you insulted Sayyidina Bilah and Allah is upset by that. This should have been proof enough for these people that it's not, it's not the language. It's not the, that somebody have a, a slur and the, Allah finds uh, no acceptance in that. Qul amalun bin niyat If the intention of the servant is true and sincere, care what the words of the mouth is saying and his pronunciation is correct or incorrect. The angels are looking to the fragrance that coming from the heart of the servant and the sincerity of the servant, inshaAllah. So the more they watch these videos, the more they panic and, oh my prayers don't count and, oh I said Allah wrong in all of them. So then 10 years of my prayers don't count, oh it's all rubbish, all rubbish. They're, they're the people to, to take people to Jahannam and not to paradise. And no tariqah has taught that, no shaykh has ever said that of the tariqah shaykhs. So this is, this is not correct. And all our life we pronounced everything wrong and we got to a very nice place in life. <laughs> Walking example. Yeah, I don't know what that shaykh says, it's all pronounced wrong. So, alhamdulillah for me, it's worked. <laughs> As salaamu alaykum, Sayyidi. Wa alaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah. How to find the faults in your software that prevents upgrading? What kind of faults prevent this? Is it just the bad character? Well, it's the combination. So this is what the talk was from last night, that I have to know my life, I'm being tested, so my khuluq. So I'm going to have most important for Prophet is the character. So if I'm saying, I'm going to work on my character, supreme. But now I want upgrades, do your charity, do your khidmat, show that you love the shaykh, he's like your father, why don't you support him? So I love your teaching, I love your teaching but I didn't do anything to support him. So all of these are acts of love, this path is based on love. They show their love, they do their khidmat and then they, their character is supreme. So what Sayyidina Khidr was teaching because he's the unseen, anything that happening in your tariqah days know that it's being witnessed by the shaykhs. Three times a day the shaykh's appearance will come from his big shaykhs, spiritual will appear in the environment and you will explode because it's a jalali tajali. It doesn't come jamali, he's not coming like you know to, to give the fairy dust to people and enjoy their day. He comes with a j- jalal, like fire comes into the environment. Why? Because it's going to make somebody explode at least three times a day. So what we learn from Sayyidina Khidr is that he was present in every event, a boat that doesn't break by itself. The car, its tire doesn't go flat by himself. Sayyidina Khidr is there popping your tire. <laughs> Think about it, say, oh have so much love for the way, then there must be a Khidr reality Pops your tire, so what are you going to do? Maybe you're about to get an accident tonight on that way and it's saving you, be patient. Have a sabr, know that the, the, these awliya are watching me, I'm acting obnoxious, I'm ap- a- acting I- irresponsible, I'm a- acting with anger and, and bad character, they're all watching and astonished. So what kind of character is this? I thought you said this one is advanced, you know they get embarrassed and <laughs> It wasn't good. So uh, everything in our life we have to think it's an open book, they're all watching. So then I train myself, train myself, train myself, they're watching, they're watching. Now are we going to pass all the time? Absolutely not but we're going to wash and then we're going to go and ask for forgiveness. And I feel ashamed that in the presence of my shaykhs I failed again and I cry and I cry and I cry and I spend all my nights crying that Allah make me to be better, I'll be insulted in front of them. They won't want to look at me anymore because they think I'm a lunatic. By day I'm a nice per- person and by night I'm a, a, a crook. Anger and yelling and screaming. So you make everything real in your dialogue 
that it's real, they're looking at me just like a, if it was there at the zawiyah. Everything in my life is, is under observation. So then the khuluq begins to change inshaAllah. The zikrs, the salawats, the practices, the awrads gives the energy. The khidmat, the service gives what? Lights and packets of barakah. So when you have sabr, every test that comes, we said this year Allah's dressing hayba. So the dog can have a tongue. Why? Because he becomes more like the real human, not a haywan. Or in our, in our language we have what's called haywan, means you're wild. But you're, what it really means is you're an animal and we want to rise above haywan and to be a insan where we're calm, we're angered when, when Allah's angry calm in every other condition inshaAllah. And this is a lifelong process, it doesn't end. Everyone has to catch themselves from getting angry, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Referring to the teachings of the cave, there's three characters, the attacker, the dog and the people of tafakkur. What happens to the attackers? Are yeah, they, all, are they saw, also raised? I saw that email, I didn't understand who the attackers were in this examples. <laughs> there was no attackers. Yeah, we don't want to go there where people think they can attack and get raised. They weren't attackers, they were the companions of the cave, they were the uh, immense servants of Allah in which they threw a stone at the dog to go away. So it means as soon as you want to accompany pious people, Allah will begin to throw stones at people. Like we said, old style is they had a, a, a coat like a potato bag made from very hard wool and it was in a box filled with fleas. And you put it on, you get angry and say, do you know who I am? I'm like the local ulama, I'm the local mufti and they say, we don't care who you are, put the bag on. And you get two days of itching and you scream at them, curse them and leave. So better to leave in the first few days than waste their time for weeks and months. So this was tariqah, was to be tested and to be tried and to, to go through difficulty. So there is no attacker in this scenario, it's just to be patient during testing, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi <coughs> Walaykum As Salaam wa when being verbally attacked, why does it make the attacker angrier when you don't respond and stay silent? Well because shaitan is on the other side, right? So it's not the person that if it's a test from Allah then shaitan is, 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 is being asked to test the servant. And as a result shaitan is getting angrier and pushing the person to get angrier to see if at what point will that person break. So they can become entertained by it. So if the person can remain calm in the face of that then alhamdulillah. And if they can walk away from it so that it doesn't escalate and they go, I have to go wash <coughs> and go wash. But this is this, the system that Allah wants to test and we have talks on that, that you know which environments you're going to go to and what's going to happen in that environment. Life is a chess game. That you say, well, I'm going to those people's house, I know exactly who's going to say what and I know in which direction they're coming to. So you have to be more clever than the devil and you know who's going to open their mouth and how shaitan's going to use them. So you preemptively, you're going to say silent, you're going to have your tasbih, you're going to avoid sitting in that room. There's many things you're going to do to out clever shaitan's uh, moves, inshaAllah. But if you fall into the trap every time the same thing, so every time I go there I still get in the same argument with that person well, then you, the shaitan is playing with you like cat and mouse. Again so there's a point in which I want to overcome this uh, system of shaitan and to be freed from it inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, 
our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.